For some reason, human beings are crazy about cute things. Take something completely mundane, at a cute little cat and people are gonna freak out. So, of course, when the first trailer for Stray released, people were like... Cutest kitty ever! <laughs> sure, if you're into dirtbass cats. What can I say? I don't like cats. You're a worse version of Hitler! Now, before you go to the comment section and tell me what a horrible person I am, let me explain why I don't like cats. They are malicious little beasts. They are evil and incapable of love. And worst of it all, they just care about themselves. Wait, that's how all my ex-girlfriends describe me? Am I a cat? <laughs> I'm a cat. I'm a sexy cat. So, I guess I have to give it a try. Now, what is Stray? It is a game about stray cats. Not to be confused with stray kids. They're almost the same with the tiny difference that even the weirdest cat noises are less annoying than whatever the hell that is. In Stray, you're playing a stray cat that gets separated from its friends and finds itself at the bottom of a walled city that's populated by robots. With the help of a little drone companion that is somehow even cuter than the cat itself, you now need to find a way back to the surface and along the way untangle the mystery of this world and its inhabitants. How you do that is pretty much determined by the game itself. There aren't any decisions for you to make. It is a linear story driven adventure game. And still, a big part of the game is the exploration. Even though the exploration takes place in very confined conditions. You do what I say, when I say it. Okay. The platforming is basically non-existent since it consists of just pressing the X button and then the cat is jumping by itself without any skill or precision required. On paper that sounds pretty bad. A linear exploration game without any freedom. A platformer without any challenge. On paper, Morty, on paper! And still, this game was pure enjoyment for me. But why? There's a lot of people out there saying that no one would care about the game if it wasn't for the cat. And while there might be some truth to it, because the cat is definitely a good marketing tool and draws attention from all kinds of people, gamers and non-gamers alike, I kind of have to disagree. I'm certain that my enjoyment did not stem from the mere fact that I was able to control a fairy friend. For me, the real protagonist of the game is the world and the environments. Getting immersed in a gloomy yet colorful cyberpunk world without having to deal with a bug in every corner of the game is... How should I say it? Amazing. Exactly. That's the word I was looking for. So, to the people who argue that this is a mediocre game at best when you take the cat out of the equation, I have to tell you... Your argument doesn't make any sense because the game is built on the premise that you're a cat. Obviously the game wouldn't work like it does if you did play a cat, because the cat is a gameplay mechanic. It's like saying Call of Duty only works because you have guns. Yeah, it's fun to run around as Uncle Joe and punch opponents with your bare fists, right? But that's obviously a completely different game. Having guns in a military shooter is a fundamental gameplay mechanic. And so is being a cat in Stray. You are doing cat stuff to progress the game. If the protagonist wasn't a cat, it could still be a great game, because as I said, the main appeal of the game, in my opinion at least, is the world and the atmosphere. But it would be a completely different game nonetheless. So, long story short, if you're not a cat person, and you think this game is only popular because people like cats, maybe give it a try anyway. 
especially if you like futuristic scenarios, story-driven games or just cute little adventures. It's a short and simple puzzle solving game and does not do anything revolutionary, but it's well worth exploring. And hey, it's better to play as an agile cat than having to write a sluggish piece of unprocessed beef for two hours.